In this video, we will add this photo to this 3D model to create this rendering in Adobe Substance 3D Stager. Let's get started. You can add a photo to the background of Adobe Substance 3D Stager in just a few steps. First thing we'll do is drag in our model, import that, and it came in with the graphic on the reverse side or the back side, and that's okay. So we're just gonna leave it right now because it makes it easier to grab the gizmo here. Let's duplicate this so that we have two. And then we will find a, uh, a photo. And we have some here. And we're going to use this one. And all we're going to do is drag and drop it onto the grid there. And you will see over in this panel here, under actions, it says match image. If you don't see that, it's because you have uh, something else selected. But if you have the camera selected, you'll see match image and click on that and just have all of these selected and go OK. And this will resize your um, canvas to the size of the photo and it will set your objects in perspective. So let's uh, make these a little bit larger. Maybe about there. Okay. And then let's bring this one in a little bit closer to the other one. Okay. That looks pretty good. And then let's, these are sitting on the ground plane right now. Let's move them up just a little bit. So let's set this at like 1.5 millimeter and we're going to lift this one up as well to about 1.5 there we go and then let's go ahead and spin these around so we can see what they look like there very good and then we will spin this one as well spin it on a little bit more like that and that's really it let's look at this in uh, ray tracing And of course, you can render that right up. So let's do this again with a different image. We have another one already here. This image, which has a nice angle for the counter, countertop. Select our camera, match image. And sometimes you may not get the match camera perspective when the uh, program can't find the angles. Um, but we're going to go ahead, because this came through, we'll go OK. And let's move these onto the countertop. Let's turn the ray tracing off. Things can move a little bit faster. OK. And so again, setting these in perspective is pretty easy to do. The, the, um, the bowls look a little large, so we can make them smaller, of course. And we can move them around. And while this, you know, looks uh, good, the, um, you know, the focus is, should be on the, um, a little bit more on the, the, the objects here. And so um, what you can do is if you find an image that you, you like, but it's just uh, it's a little too far back in the scene, you can crop that image uh, as I did here with this one. I just cropped this image in Photoshop so that I can zoom in a little bit more on the counter. And we'll just drag and drop that in. And let's see if we can get the camera match here. This is the same image. so. It should be the same, and we'll just hit OK. And then we can drag these guys into a better position. There we go. And then we'll make these larger. Like that. Okay, maybe we take this guy, move it a little bit f forward. There, there we go. Put it up there, set it on the plane, move this guy back a little bit. So we can grab that. There we go. 
It's a nice. Okay. And let's go ahead and do what we did with the other one. Okay, this is still at, let's hit this on the ground. All right, and then just put that back up just to make sure we have it. 0.15. And again, I, um, I raise these up a little bit just to have a little bit of shadow underneath, just a hair. Um, it seems to feel a little bit more realistic. Uh, and let's get a um, uh, reflection on our ground plane here. So we will click environment and let's see what we have. We have the opacity. The, the, there we go, we want to be right here. And let's up this uh, reflection a little bit so that it will appear to reflect down into the countertop there. Uh, and that's pretty good. Uh, let's see if we want to rotate these. I think that's, that's good. And then you can render that out as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. In this video, we will add this photo to this 3D model and to create, <clears throat> to create this. In this video, we will add this photo to this 3D model to create this rendering in Adobe 3D Stager. In Adobe Substance 3D Stager. In this video, we will add, in this video, we will add this photo, this rendering, in Adobe, in Adobe Substance. <clears throat> Let's get started.